I'm in a state of gratitude and of feeling so honored that God would allow me to um, do what I have been doing for this past six years that I've been doing it. I always say in every single video, um, it's like I want it to be just all of him and none of me. And it has been that way. So I just I'm very grateful that he's allowed me to serve you all and the capacity that he's allowed me to serve you all and the capacity that he's allowed me to do what I do. And it's become something that I love and it's become something that I'm passionate about helping you all discover your identity or realizing who you are in God and pushing you all to further your relationship with God, deepen your relationship with God, learn more about who you are in God, learn more about the fact that you are so full and amazing amazingly fearfully wonderfully artistically beautifully made children of god full of purpose full 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 even though you don't feel like it you are and the reality of things is that you are that is my goal in life is to make sure that you know that your reality is that. I know that these past two, no, three years have been really, 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 really emotionally, mentally, and physically just draining. But the fact that you're still here and you're still drawing breath, the fact that you are watching this video, the fact that you are, your mind is sane enough to watch. You're still watching this video. You're able to hear it. You're able to see it. You're able to comprehend it properly you're able to just still be here and take this in the fact that we are here it is new year's eve it is the end of 2022 and we are still here the devil couldn't take us out he might have tried to use the last three years to take you out but he did not win he lost that battle because you still here honey you watching me and you listening to me and he didn't take you out so rejoice in the fact that he didn't take you out it shows your strength it shows how much strength you have in you because you have god's strength because in this past three years I learned what it means to come to the end of myself and my own strength and my own mental and physical and emotional strength and allow God to just really just take the wheel because I can't. I've learned what it is to not feel like doing anything, not feel like praying, not feel like picking my Bible, not feel like sometimes even talking to God, sometimes even getting upset at God because I'm a human being and we're all human. And knowing that it is in that weak part of me god's strength is made perfect it is in that part in those moments that god really does his best work and i've seen that so that that facet of god i've seen it i've gotten to know it so 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 well god has shown himself strong so so much especially um in my life as jehovah Gabor, Jehovah, God strong and mighty, Jehovah Jireh, God our provider. He has shown himself and I've seen those facets. Um, I've seen more than ever, more than ever before, more than ever before this season. I've seen him as Jehovah Gabor. I've seen him as the God who fights for his children, who will fight. The God who says the battle is not yours, but it's mine. You just need to be in my presence. Take your position in my presence because the battle is not yours. It's the Lord's. I've seen that come to life in these past couple of seasons in my life. Maybe many of you have seen that in your life. You just need to know God is for you. God is for you. He is never against you. I love you. Thank you so much for staying the course. Thank you so much for not giving up. Thank you so much for sticking it out. Sticking these last three hard, gut-wrenching years out. Thank you so much for not giving up on you. Thank you so much for not taking you away from us. Can I just tell you something? You are supposed to be somebody that will do so much and impact the world in such a humongous way. In these last three years, the enemy tried to use these three years to take you out and it didn't. He did not take you out. When I tell you this, this, this part right here, the devil tried to take you out. The devil tried to take you out. The devil tried to take you out. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. And God want me to let you know today, your next year, it won't look like this year, one. Two, you are going to begin to see exactly who God is calling you to be. God is going to reveal to you 
what he is calling you to do is going to begin to reveal to you exactly who you are in this world. He's going to reveal to you exactly who the devil really tried to take out. He's going to show you why the devil is so afraid of you. I had to get up for this. I had to get up for this and I wasn't expecting to go this long. Listen, I want someone to hear me today. I want you to hear me and hear me and hear me well because what God is saying to somebody today is that the devil tried to use this past three years, this year, to take you out. And what he was saying is so many of you, he tried to physically remove you off the planet, the face of the earth, because he's afraid of who you are about to learn that you are really and who you are to be. Because the way you are about to be empowered by God the way God is about to empower you through the revelation of who you are meant to and called to be, of who he is going to bring you into being in the earth. There's so much in store. Happy New Year. I declare and I decree over you and your family and your life in 2023 and onward that God just give you a really truly happy new year. May your year be full of God's peace and God's ultimate fullness. Let the goodness of God overtake you. May the goodness of God just overtake you from all sides, from every direction. May it overflow into your life in the name of Jesus. Happy new year, y'all. I love you. Thank you for rocking with me for this long. Those of you who have been here for a long time, those of you that are new, I love you and thank you for rocking with me. I'll see y'all in the new year.